What's up guys? So when it comes to using email in private practice, I know that HIPAA compliance is top of mind for all of us. And yet it's not always clear how to make sure that your email is HIPAA secure. I'm a huge fan of using G Suite in private practice, so in this video, I'm gonna break down step-by-step -step how to make your G Suite HIPAA secure for private practice. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Okay, <laughs> it's not just because I'm pregnant. It's 100 degrees outside. Oh. Welcome to Private Practice Skills. I'm Dr. Marie Fang, psychologist in private practice. I post videos offering tools I learned the hard way about starting and growing private practice so that you don't have to. If you haven't heard of G Suite, it's Google's suite of services, including Gmail, Google Docs, Calendar, Forms, and other services compiled together for businesses. And in my opinion, G Suite is super awesome and easy to use for therapists in private practice. Here are just a few of the benefits of using G Suite for your private practice. First, you can have your domain name in your email. So rather than having an email that's at gmail.com, you can have it be at your domain name. So I have privatepracticeskills.com as my domain name, and I have G Suite for private practice skills, which means I can use the email marie at privatepracticeskills.com instead of privatepracticeskills at gmail.com or something like that. Second, you can have a fully HIPAA secure platform. And this encompasses not just your email, but also Google Calendar, Google Drive, Forms, and more. Number three, starting at just $6 per month, it's a super affordable HIPAA secure email option for private practice. Now there are tons of functions that G Suite offers us in private practice in addition to email, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna be focusing on how to make your G Suite HIPAA secure so that you can use it for emailing with your clients. Before I dive into the steps to make your G Suite HIPAA secure, let's have a mini lesson about what it means to have HIPAA security using online software. In order to make any online software HIPAA secure, you need to be in a BAA contract with the company providing that online software. So what is a BAA? BAA stands for Business Associate Agreement, and a BAA is a legal contract between a healthcare provider and a contractor. And HIPAA requires that all healthcare providers enter a BAA contract with contractors that they exchange protected health information with, or PHI. So in summary, anytime you're using software to enter protected health information, HIPAA requires that you have a BAA contract with that software provider. So this means that all of us intending to use email to contact our clients must enter a BAA contract with that email service provider. It's not just a G Suite thing, but it's required of all of us exchanging PHI online. So it follows then that in the case of using G Suite, you must enter a BAA contract with Google in order for the use of their services to be HIPAA secure. Okay, now that we got a little bit of a HIPAA lesson, here's the step-by-step -step breakdown for how to make G Suite HIPAA secure. Before we dive into the steps, it's important to clarify that Google only offers the BAA option for those using the paid version of G Suite, which starts at $6 per month. Step one, choose a G Suite option. If you're not yet hooked up with G Suite, then pick which paid option fits best for you. The $6 a month version seems to work great for me, but you can check out all the options and pick the one that works best for you. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check out the different price points. Step two, continue with the setup process. I've linked below to a page that walks you through all the steps you need to link your domain name to your Gmail email. And this is super important to set up so that you can have that at domainname.com as the end of your email rather than it be at gmail.com. Feel free to check out the link below in order to set that up. Step three, sign into your Google Admin Console. You can get there by going to admin.google.com. I've linked that in the description box below. Once you're logged in there, click company profile, then click show more, then click legal and compliance. Scroll to the bottom and you'll see a section called security and privacy additional terms. And next to where it says G Suite slash cloud identity HIPAA business associate amendment, click review and accept. It asks you to answer just a few questions and then once you've done so, you can click I accept. 
That's literally all there is to it. It's not too complicated, it's just tricky if you don't know where you're supposed to go to get it done. To get the full rundown of what's HIPAA secure versus not through the G Suite BAA contract, I really encourage you to check out Google's guide titled G Suite and Cloud Identity HIPAA Implementation Guide. I've linked to that PDF in the description as well. It is a bit lengthy, but it's worth sorting through to make sure you're using G Suite property in a HIPAA compliant way. Keep in mind that even though a platform is HIPAA secure, it's still possible for us to use it in ways where we're no longer being HIPAA compliant. So it's important to know the boundaries and expectations of HIPAA. Well, I hope you found this video helpful as you set up HIPAA secure email through G Suite. And until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well. And then I turned the AC off because it's so loud that it messes up the video. It's all for you, it's all for you. Oh, it's so hot though, oh my gosh. Oh, here, here, why are you fluffy?